In this tutorial, we will be learning about different elements and drawings with text in Adobe H Animate. We are into our project project and here we have our stage. So to add any object, we can use multiple methods. One of them is very easy graphical user interface method. You can see a rectangle tool over here. We'll simply select that one and draw a rectangle in our stage in order to get a rectangle in our HTML file. So here it is. As you can see at the right side, the edge has automatically added a new division rectangle to the HTML file so that everything we use and everything we do in Adobe Edge will be represented as the tags and then the CSS will apply to add visual effects of that object. Now to cover these particular title you must be familiar with HTML and CSS, at least some of their element, attributes and properties because from this lesson we will be talking about them much. We have selected the rectangle and as you can see in the properties panel we have got all the attributes and properties of this rectangle. First is the position and size. You can see width is 403 pixel. We can select it and grow it. And there is also a height. You can see these height and width is linked together. If we click on this, we can unlink them. And in this case, we will be able to only increase or decrease height and width separately. Along with that, there is a color option. When we click on this color, it will open up this palette from which we can select color and we click on it. We can also change the color by this option over here and it will allow us to color our object. Here is the border. If we want the border, we can do it as well. Let's say we want a border of this color. We can do that. After that, we have to set the style, let's say solid. And then we can increase its size, let's say 5 pixel. So this is the finished object. This is our rectangle and we can move it wherever we want to. We'll move it in the center. As you see, when we unselect it, the properties has been changed to the stage. And as we select rectangle, all the properties of rectangle is being loaded. Here, you'll see a corner, which is the corners of the border. If we want to round up the corners we can do that by this option it gives us a very useful interface of selecting all of the four corners at once or doing them separately for say this corner and now as you can see we got this very customized figure so this was a quick look upon drawing objects in our stage and making them available into our HTML page. Obviously, we will save this file to save changes. If we want to see how it will look in our web page, we can simply press Ctrl and Enter and it will open up the web page that the stage 
of ours is located. So this was the tutorial upon creating drawings in Adobe Edge. Thank you.